Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Saori Kita. I was raised near Tokyo and came to Sydney in 2005. Today I'm going to present my jewelry making practice, how my cultural background is embedded in me and influenced my work. My practice is built around observation and fascination with natural world, in particular finding the beauty and inspiration through plant life. Throughout my art practice, I have developed a fascination for the natural world and become mesmerized by its transient. By observing my surroundings, my work starts to reflect upon seasonal change, especially seeing the cycle of plant growth and decay. I became more aware and mesmerized by the beauty of the transient of nature. I started to wonder what natural world are telling me. Jewelry is generated as a form of personal adornment. As a little girl growing in up Hawaii, my greatest joy was making flower chain or lei. Hawaiian word for a wealth of flower. My lei were made out of clover. My flower lasts only for a short time, but they make an impression. Besides, I really love making and playing with them. It was my beginning of collecting treasures and making and wearing. Although I acknowledge I wasn't aware of this as a jury, it reflected my interest in plant, the natural world as a young girl. Interestingly, the word jury is delivered from the word Jew, the old French means with a beautiful treasure. In this series, I attempt to express the idea of giving new life to dried seed pot by casting them in metal and combining them with rough stone to create new series of immortalized bat. Here I have intended to preserve the whole cycle of seasonal change from winter to springtime. Ikebana is one of the traditional art in Japan, also called kado, which translates to way of flowers, involving a process of working with living plant, include the bars, stem, leaves, branches, and flowers. Ikebana artist or master create a harmony of linear construction, rhythm, and color, using the form of how they grow as a guide. The entire structure of Ikebana is based on three main points that symbolize heaven, earth, and humankind. It was established through a stream of animist concept. The earliest form of Ikebana was seen in the 7th century with the Buddhist tradition of offering ever evergreen plant to Buddha. Many Japanese art have been taught by Marsad who pass on the tradition. However, without even Without an Ikebana master, ordinary people appreciate flower arrangement in everyday life. Including myself, it has informed my sensibility over time and impact upon how I construct my work. The word Ikebana means living flowers. It symbolically means to make flower active. We say that if we take the life of flower, we have an obligation to make it look more beautiful. We must respect the form that nature presents, the idea of not manipulating, but trying to bring the flower blooming in the mountain, field inside or present the landscape indoors. Tea master Sen Norikyu said, leave flower as it is in the wilderness. Two years ago, the earthquake shook the north coast of Japan. It also triggered massive tsunami. I learned that the Japanese had to deal with the instability of mother nature for thousands of years. This sense of impermanence of mujokan underlined the traditional Japanese perception of nature. Cherry, blue, cherry trees bloom up for about a week at most, and then the blooms fall away. So whenever mother nature went on rampage, the Japanese people bowed their head and hunker down rather than fight back. This ideology was incorporated into the wisdom of Wabisabi. It's defined as all things are impermanent, imperfect, and incomplete, the acceptance of inevitable. 80 years ago, this tree was planted as a wish for recovery after the earthquake and tsunami devastation in Iwate. In 2011, after the recent natural disaster, only this tree survived. In springtime, I saw a similar transience of nature in Magnolia. It was the plant, it's delivered the message of the coming of spring. I wanted to capture this perennial moment for eternity by observing the natural world closely. For the first time, I found a clover in Sydney, which somehow I overlooked before. As a small girl, I used to pick them and make jewelry. Realized that was the beginning of my correcting and making. Although these pieces did not last long, they conveyed the beauty of the moment and transient of nature. Similar to Ikebana, 
But what I have learned by using jewelry making skill, I want to preserve this moment eternally. Plants are not just a material, but teach me a lot of things. Passing time, impermanence, nostalgia, childhood memories, peace and harmony, strength and endurance. As I feel cl more close to the world of plants, I am aware of their different characteristics of wetness and dryness or lightness and shadow of the plant. I fell in love with Australian plant when I came here first, but I realized what I missed, what I had, the distinct seasonal change of Japan. Cherry blossom bloom in spring, hydrangea in June, which beautifully changes its color in the rain. Creep myrtle blooms in steamy hot summer, non-stop voice of the cicada and the red leaves of autumn, just like the mountain on fire, and snow falling silently on the pine tree. The stillness seeping into the rocks, cicadas creak. This haiku is Japanese poet Matsu Basho. It expressed the sense of this thing's seasonal change and also depiction of cicadas' short lengths of life for seven days above ground, the idea of transient, but also vividly full of life. In Australia, looking at plant, I start to pay close attention to weed along the street, not only the plant itself, but also how they grow. It's made me realize that plants are immovable and adjust themselves in their environment. They always to face toward the sun and every day growing into mesmerizing structure. Plants are beautiful just there as they are, so my aim is not to replicate them because I know it's impossible. I prefer to create my own plant by arranging the stems and flowers as I wish like Ikebana. And my jewelry, unlike Ikebana, has no life, but by being worn on the body, it will have a life. Thank you.